used to be carefree. I traveled the world on my own. I danced with cute guys I didn't know. Capsized while whitewater rafting. Risked heartache for love. And got my heart broken. I dodged suicide bombers in Israel. I saved grizzly bears in Alaska. And snorkeled a shark-filled Great Barrier Reef. Yes, I used to live fearlessly. And then... Then I became a mother. I was 34 years old and my first son at age two was diagnosed and hospitalized with viral induced asthma. He was losing oxygen fast and had to be given steroids and oxygen for over 48 hours. Thank goodness, he was fine. But that fear, that deep rooted animalistic panic that rushed over me, kicked in what I call motherhood induced anxiety. For the first time in my life, I just wanted to live in a bubble. I just wanted to protect my child, Benjamin. Motherhood-induced anxiety is a force to be reckoned with. I didn't want Benji to catch the flu. I needed to be sure his car seat was police station safe. God forbid I buy a used baby swing when the industry expert said it would be a deathly risk. <laughs> with every new cough, every new color poop, and every new rash, I dashed from the doctors. <laughs> now, some would call this my motherly instincts. I call it motherhood-induced anxiety. It can hide and it can lurk. Sometimes it takes my breath away. It can make me scream. And other times, it can make me run and hide. As a mom, I find myself in a constant state of being alert. My inner wisdom tells me to relax. But my motherhood-induced anxiety, she tells me otherwise. If I relax, my anxiety tells me, I might not have seen the clues that my little one has sensory processing dysfunction. If I relax, I would not have seen, I would not have been the only one to notice my oldest son having petite mal seizures. His teachers missed it, his dad missed it. Only his high alert mom picked up on it. So what am I anxious about now with two boys, six and eight? I'm not perfect. I don't have it all together. I forever lost my 21-year-old body. I need to keep my boys safe. I need to give them independence, even when it's scary and when it hurts. I'm losing my mind. My boys will one day move away, or worse, they'll never leave. <laughs> <laughs> and why am I writing these words and standing before you exposing my anxiety? I'm standing here because I believe somehow, in some way, motherhood-induced anxiety connects all mothers to each other. It's one of the common, yet often unspoken, threads we share as moms. It's not the norm to expose our anxiety. And if it is exposed, it's often coated with humor. But most of the time, I believe it is hidden behind closed doors, behind fearful hearts and tired souls. As a mom, I know I must find time every day to quiet my mind, to relax my body, and feed my soul. I meditate, sleep when I can, and I'm, fuel, I'm soulfully fueled by watching my boys play, learn, and grow. I'm on high alert as a mom. I have motherhood-induced anxiety, but I'm also so much more. For my children, I'm a sounding board, a healer, a money machine, a dream maker. <laughs> but I'm also Stacy, a daughter, a wife, a blogger, an entrepreneur. I am confident, positive, passionate, and strong. I tire easily, and I mindfully live with motherhood-induced anxiety. When it gets too loud, I retreat into silence. When it gets too hectic, I must clear my mind. I am far from perfect, and I am imperfectly perfect, all at the same time. Thank you.